one more thing that renters here have to worry about. Uh, Denver's rental protections are among the worst in the country, and renters are clamoring for change. Since almost half of Denver rents, what will you guys do as mayor to make Denver a more secure and welcoming place for renters? First. Um, the first thing we need to do is to fix our inclusionary housing zoning. The second thing we need to do is to make sure more we're rental units around transit-oriented development. The third thing we need to do is to make sure and be uh, get the bed bugs out of all the mattresses and all the units. <laughs> Great, and the other thing that we need to do too is work with the many people through affordable housing and let renters know. One of the most key things I think that are critical is just to let renters know about their rights and give them access to that information. And make sure that we work hard and that they can navigate that quite easily because that's the best protection that they can have. Strangely enough, this is a subject I know quite a bit about. We struggle mightily with the bed bug problem in our housing projects. So you're not alone if you're finding it just as renters. And it's not nearly so easy as wishing it away. And it turns out, in order to get the bed bugs out of a facility, out of any single building, we have to empty it. We have to move people into some place else to live. We need to spray or replace every one of those mattresses and all of those drapes and all of that carpeting. Don't laugh at this problem. It's going to cost us a fortune, but if we don't take it on, we'll be like New York. I agree with Teresa Spahn. It's very important that we update our rental rights and make sure that people know their renters' rights. Two, that we cajole the state to understand renter rights and they stand in a gap for those families and individuals who need to rent property. If you understood the first question we were asked, 42% of the people who live in housing in Denver are renters. And so we need to make sure we protect them and that affordable rentals are available and they become an inter... I said 42%, I'm 52, excuse me, 58% are renters. I said it right the first time. I missed it up, I, I, I got it right, I don't know what I'm doing. I got the answer right the first time, you understand that? Secondly, I want us to make sure that we update our inclusionary housing ordinance uh, in Denver, Colorado, because there are more people looking for quality and affordable rentals than ever before in our history. Well, it's very simple. Renters need rights. We need to work at the state level and the city level to give renters more rights. Did you know that if you don't pay your rent within three or four days, you can actually be kicked out? We need to fix that. We need to say if renters are late, they ought to be treated like mortgage payers. There's a grace period, okay? And you can't just kick people out for anything. Colorado is one of the worst states in the country for renters' rights. And I've worked on that issue both at the state level and the city level, and I'll continue to work on it as mayor. For the 48% of our community that rents, we need to make sure that every single time a developer goes out and pays in to the inclusionary housing ordinance, that the city of Denver uses that money not for another project, but to create affordable housing in our communities. We need to make sure that through that inclusionary housing ordinance, rentals are now included as part of the ordinance in, in addition to just uh, purchase property. So IHO, the inclusionary housing ordinance, that's how we get this done. Okay, thanks guys. Um, <laughs> New Era Colorado is also showing a documentary on uh, renters' rights, uh, April 28th, 7 p.m. at Paris on the Platte. So if you'd like to learn more, go there. Thanks, guys. Give me a high five, bug. <laughs> Isn't he awesome? Uh, 
as excited as I was about that last question, um, I'm even more excited for this next round. Um, I urge all you guys to keep it civil, but the next round is a free-for-all. Whoever can talk the most and loudest wins. Go. Dude, didn't work. All right. Here's...